Hi students! This is part 2 of our module 2 discussion for the second quarter. Kung hindi mo pa napapanood ang part 1 ng video na ito, ay mangyari lamang na pumunta sa description sa baba para makita ang link para sa part 1. In this video, I will be discussing the next formula which relates frequency and energy of electromagnetic waves. The formula is E is equal to HF. We have already discussed what these variables stand for. E is energy which is expressed in joules. H is the Planck's constant, which is equal to 6.63 times 10 raised to negative 34 joule second, and F is the frequency. which is measured in hertz. Since ang H ay isang constant, ang maaaring hanapin lang sa atin sa mga problems ay ang energy at ang frequency. Para hanapin ang frequency, Pwede rin natin ulit gamitin ang triangle na pinakita ko sa inyo sa naunang video. At para mahanap ang F, gagawin lang natin ulit yung naunang ginawa natin. Para hanapin ang F, tatakpan natin si F at magkakaroon tayo ng formula na F is equal to E over H. Siyempre, para hanapin si E, ganun pa rin ang formula, E is equal to H F. Try natin mag-solve ng problems. First problem, calculate the energy of a photon of radiation with a frequency of 8.1 times 10 raised to 14 hertz. So, napaka-straightforward po, no? Sabi, calculate the energy of a photon with radiation with a frequency of 8.1 times 10 raised to 14 hertz. Dito, kita na agad na ang frequency natin ay yung nasa dulo, which is 8.1 times 10 raised to 14. Siyempre, meron din tayong Planck's constant, which is 6.63 times 10 raised to negative 34 joules second. And ang nawawala ay energy. Sabi nga, calculate the energy. Bali, anong formula ang gagamitin natin? E is equal to HF. Since E ang nawawala, wala tayong gagawin sa equation. Next, we substitute the values. So, E is equal to 6.63 times 10 raised to negative 34 joules second times 8.1 times 10 raised to 14 hertz. Input this in your calculator and don't forget the parentheses. Now, what will you get? Now, 
you will be getting E is equal to 5.37 times 10 raised to negative 19 joules. Why are we using joules? Because joules is the unit for energy. Next problem. What is the frequency of a photon with an energy of 1.2 times 10 raised to negative 6 joules? Ano ba ang photon? The photon is a particle of light. So still we are dealing with an electromagnetic wave. Anong sabi sa problem? You are given the energy which is 1.2 times 10 raised to negative 6 joules. And of course, we have Planck's constant. For the required, we have F or the frequency. Since we are looking for F, we have to derive the formula that we have used before. So, F is equal to E over H. Now, substitute the values that you have. E is 1.2 times 10 raised to negative 6 joules divided by 6.63 times 10 raised to negative 34 joules second. Sa paglalagay po niyan sa inyong calculator, huwag kalimutan ang parenthesis. Kasi kapag nakalimutan natin ang parenthesis, maaaring mag-iba ang sagot. Now, what is the frequency? The frequency is equal to 1.81 times 10 raised to 27 hertz. If you convert this number into standard notation, you will be having 1, 8, 1, and 25 zeros. So, this number cannot fit in a standard calculator. Kaya, sabi ko nga, sana meron po kayong scientific calculator. Next, last problem for this equation. What is the frequency of a photon with an energy of 7.0 times 10 raised to negative 10 joules? Again, here we are given the energy but we are being asked for the frequency. We write on the given, E is equal to 7 times 10 raised to negative 10 joules. And the Planck's constant. Now please pause the video and continue answering this on your paper. Once you are done, you can click resume and let's compare our solutions. Are you done? Now compare your solution with my solution here. Your 
your final answer should be 1.06 times 10 raised to 24 hertz. Did you get the same answer? If yes, that's great! Kung hindi naman, tingnan mabuti ang aking solution at tingnan kung saang parte ka nagkamali. Pwede nagkamali ka sa mga number na nilagay mo sa solution or pwede sa mismong pagtatype ng mga number sa iyong calculator. Don't forget to include a parenthesis when typing the values on your calculator to prevent errors. So that's all for this equation and its sample problems. I hope you have learned something from my video.